So similar to fractions, when you've got decimals, you want to get rid of them. So to get rid of the decimals, we're going to multiply by how many decimal points there are. So since there's two decimal points, is the most that any piece of this has. We're going to multiply everything by 100. When you multiply everything by 100, really all that does is move the decimal two spots. So when you move the decimal two spots, you get 2x. Move the decimal two spots, you get 150y. And then move the decimal two spots, you get 400. Same thing on the bottom equation, move it two spots, you get 50. So move the decimal two spots. You get minus 2x. Move the decimal two spots. You get equals 180. So now we need to solve this new system that doesn't have decimals in it. Uh, if you look, the x is already ready to cancel out. We just got to rewrite it so it lines up. So now it's lined up, we can cancel our x's. We get negative 100y equals 580. Divide and you get y equals negative. Divide by 100 is 5.8. Plug in negative 5.8 to solve for x. To plug it in to find x, we get, we'll go 2x minus 150 times negative 5.8 equals 400. Hundred and fifty times five point eight eight hundred seventy. So subtract the eight seventy and divide by two. Bucks is negative 235.